in this video presentation we'll look at the steps or the whole process of creating a static html website what we will focus on in this video presentation is the use of simple tools available to you when you set on any computer and we'll be using those tools in which obviously we'll use a notepad a simple notepad obviously a more advanced version i'll let you know we'll use a notepad to write the whole html markup that we need for the website and we'll use uh, microsoft paint to, con to to conceptualize to visualize what we are actually planning to do now the paint over here let me write it down first in this video presentation what we intend to do is we will we'll be creating a static html website by using a notepad and obviously microsoft paint now the use of paint over here is simply to simply to visualize what we are going to create now once you have a clear cut picture of what you are trying to create you can easily select the tags easily select the styles which you apply to those tags and you can come up with the whole website which will run uh, obviously in the, uh, the the browser you have so we'll be using a notepad to write to write all the html markup now anybody would tell you that to create a website you need html you need a knowledge of html obviously this uh, this involves knowing all the tags that we have in html not all but you know there are a pretty uh, 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 i would say a small set of common tags that we use that we keep using again and again in all these all these all the html work that we do so we'll be using those tags uh, in, the, in this uh, uh, the website that we create and you obviously need css to provide styles to your website now in this video presentation i won't take you through the css concept i'll only focus on using html pure html to create a website we'll put inline styles on all the tags that we have although this is not the recommended way of doing things we we'll have to change Uh, the whole uh, markup at a later stage to use css with uh, this website but to keep things simple and to make the learning um, according to me not uh, too complex at the very first step we'll be using simple html tags and we'll be providing inline styles to all the tags i'll let you know what i mean by inline style when we we start writing uh, the html markup we won't include the css concept in this video i'll definitely record another video in which i let you know how to use css and how to create a much better uh, uh, although by look and feel standards the site that we do in this tutorial in this video and the site that i'll do in the other video in which i'll use css look wise you won't be able to tell you know in which you are using css or in which you know you are not using css but it's a, it's about the manageability concept now using css files definitely helps you manage the styles uh, properly so that you know your site is not messed up your html is not messed up and you can easily manage the whole html and the styles concept properly okay uh, one last thing instead of using the no the normal notepad that you have now instead of using the normal notepad in this uh, in Uh, you know in the process of writing html tags we will prefer using notepad plus plus now the reason for using notepad plus plus is that it helps you write html properly it helps you by displaying all the tags there is you know highlighting of the tags indentation etc all is properly done using notepad plus plus now for notepad plus plus in case you don't have notepad plus plus on your machine Uh, simply search google for 
notepad plus plus you should see the very first link for notepad plus plus on their website uh, you know this is what I uh, see on the website so I'll click download the current version and notepad plus plus version 5.9 installer this should be the one you know you'll download definitely for uh, the Windows operating system as I'm using Windows 7 operating system so I would go with this file I'll keep it at a preferred location I you know uh, before recording this presentation I already had uh, you know I had downloaded notepad plus plus I have it installed on my machine but you should definitely install notepad plus plus on your machine and we'll be using notepad plus plus to write all the HTML uh, for our website okay now let's start with now let's start with visualizing our website in Microsoft Paint first in which we'll uh, get an idea about what we are planning to do with the website uh, the header section the menu on the left side the content on the right side so for this I would open Microsoft Paint I would open Microsoft Paint and over here what we'll do is we'll try to visualize the site we are creating I would start by creating let me select a color I would start by creating a simple layout like this now assuming this is the outer uh, body of the website that we have my website should contain something like this my website should contain a header section the top section would be the header section uh, maybe this is the place where I'll put my my banner or I'll put my logo or my site name anything you want so this top section would act as the header for a website okay now let's say we have a left section and a right section generally you would find websites with a two column layout now this becomes a two column layout this is the left column this is the right column right the left column we'll be using for creating our menu for putting some information whatever we feel like but I will I will use the left section in this art in this video tutorial for putting up my menu items now this becomes on this side this becomes my right section now, I'll use this section for putting my site content okay. now this is a typical two layer uh, a two column layout in which we have the left section and we have the right section right now we'll go with a three page website so the, my menu items they'll create they'll contain three uh, hyperlinks three anchor tags I'll show you when I start when I start uh, writing the HTML markup but my left section will contain a home menu about us menu contact us menu so this is what we'll have on our left hand side right now the first thing that you have to think when you are trying to create a website is the dimensions of the site by dimensions I mean the resolution at which your site will look uh, or your, at which your site will show up in the browser now typically what happens is uh, you will find sites which are done with 800 by 600 uh, resolution but in today's time almost everybody has you know computers which support definitely more than 1024 
by 768 uh, resolution so we will go with this resolution our website will be created to uh, you know target this resolution 1024 by 768 this is typically i suppose should be the resolution for facebook also somewhere you know between uh, 1024 or somewhere between, uh, it may be like 1000 pixels or something but 1024 by 768 should be good enough for us right let's uh, keep it at 1000 pixels by 768 pixels so this will give us some margin on this side and on this side when you have your website okay now this is the resolution at which we'll uh, create our website now this uh, picture right now gives you an idea on you know what our site should look like we should have a header section we should have a left section with the menus and we should have the right section in which we'll put the site content and this is the resolution which we are targeting so our site should uh, display properly when even when you have 1024 by 768 resolution or obviously you know more resolution than 1024 by 768 uh, in case someone is viewing your site at 800 by 600 pixels sorry in case someone is viewing your site at 800 by 600 pixel resolution now they should see scrolls on the vertical side section on the vertical side also and on the horizontal side also but you know for resolutions more than 1024 by 768 the site should appear uh, properly in the browser okay now after we have a picture of what we are planning to do we'll start by we'll start by writing html markup in notepad++ okay also make sure you have a folder uh, a proper folder in which we'll keep our html files uh, i already yes i already created a folder in my d drive in my temp folder by the name website i will go with an images folder in my website folder now this images folder is the one in which i'll keep my images in case i need to put any on my uh, website and over here in the website uh, folder i'll keep my uh, html files that i will create obviously we'll we'll, uh, we'll be creating three html files uh, one for the uh, uh, the home menu one for the about us uh, menu item and one for the contact us menu item so we'll have say index.html for the home uh, uh, page we'll have about us.html for the about us page and we'll have contact us.html for the contact us page okay, let's let's get started by let's get started by opening the notepad plus uh, plus you know in which we'll write the html that we'll be you know writing for our website i'll create a new tab over here by just double clicking uh, on on these on this tab section and i'll make sure that i save my file first by the name index.html okay my file is saved i can see over here that i have my file index.html and now uh, this is the uh, file in which we'll start writing the HTML. Remember that I told you very first.